Are they still downstairs? Yep. And that was Edward Scissorhands. And Val is by. Should we watch the video? Absolutely not. <laughs> Harper, I I'm sure you want an explanation. Not really. Yes, Val, you're going pink, you're going blue, you're going purple. Ugh. <laughs> what? Don't do that. I'm sorry. It's the colors of the, the bisexual pride flag. If you want me to leave, Harper, I'll just go. No, Mom, I don't want you to leave. Just, I just want you to understand that you're not bisexual. It's rude. What? What? It's rude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before we get all negative, let's be objective and consider the facts. Val, why do you think you're bisexual? I'm also extremely curious about that. Well, I, I think deep down I always knew. I, I just never put two and two together until. Juliet. Juliet? Your Pilates instructor? I love Pilates lesbians. You took me to her class. She hot? Oh. She's very attractive. I caught myself looking at her during class like all the time. Um, and then afterwards talking to her. And we would talk about everything. It was great. And then one day... <sighs> we were going to say bye and, and she kissed me on the cheek. And it was, it was incredible. It was like, it was like skydiving or all the Christmas lights come on. It was just... Okay. <laughs> First of all, you've never even been skydiving. And second of all, this whole thing was inspired by a kiss on the cheek. You know, admit something to me, Harper. Oh, please, it doesn't count. Hey, this is coming from somebody who found out they were gay because she touched some mole on some chick's cheek. Oh! Are you kidding? Oh. It felt like a nipple. <laughs> oh my God. Shut up. I don't care. Hey, are you two on marijuana? Val, did you just speak Spanish? Because that's fucking beautiful and I think Juliet is going to love it. <laughs> Harper, is that really marijuana? Whatever, Val. Is this about to be her first time smoking marijuana? I don't know. Yes. <clears throat> Okay, all right, then listen, you have... Yo, you're such a professional. I saw you guys do it. Strong. Okay, what there. Right there. Right, well, there's a little hole. Okay. Put your finger on the hole. That's, you're gonna do a lot of that soon. We. Oh my God. Okay, go. You, you get any? Yeah. <laughs> as flat and low as you can get it, like really, really drop your balls. Like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and it's like you're pushing against it, like against it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Oh. You got to practice that like every day because it's your most important muscle as mm -hmm. a lesbian. Bisexual. Sorry. Thank My you. My bad. God. Well, that's half of it. <laughs> uh, okay. unless, unless you want to be a pillow princess. What's that? Pillow princess is like, is like you want to get it or like you want someone to strap you. But you don't really want to give it. You know Strap. what I mean? Strap? Yeah. yeah. Tell me about Strap. Oh my god. 
I'm gonna go get something. It's better as a visual. Cool. Mom, I'm sorry about last night. I get it. I really, I, I do. It's nice to hear that. Thank you. You're getting older. You're all, fuck, I'm dying. <laughs> it's like death puberty. Oh, things can get crazy. I just, I won't tell dad or Grant. You had your crazy night, now let's move on, okay? I get it. I don't think you get it. Your dad and I are separated, okay? And I'm a bisexual woman. Please stop saying that. Everyone, I never expected you to be homophobic. Do you even get anything? No, do you understand how insane you sound? You are losing your mind. Harper, I think you need to talk to someone. An expert, listen to me, Harper. Honey, it can be difficult to handle a parent's divorce, even as an adult. Mom, please. You wanna get a divorce? That's cool. You wanna buy a bike? Get a tattoo, that's all cool. Just stay off my turf. You are not gay. No, I'm not gay. Great. I'm bisexual. You should use the word. Don't try to erase us. It's actually a big problem in the community. I don't know anything about the community. Oh. And guess what? Only straight people say the community. <sighs> this isn't gonna work. You're trying to force yourself into my world. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know what you want. You act like there is some kind of gay quota in our family and you got it. You are very wrong, young lady. God, I just want to be me. Not mom, not Frank's wife, not John's daughter, not, not casserole Val. Who calls you casserole Val? People. Maybe you just need new friends. Hi. I'm so sorry, but I really think I saw you in a video online. Yeah, it's her. Wow, okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to be weird, but like I just thought it was really inspiring what you did. As a bisexual woman myself, it really does feel like we're invisible sometimes and for someone to come out as bi so publicly and be accepted by the whole community uh, you just give me hope so thank you thank you thanks yeah. so much is this your girlfriend <laughs> this is my help no it's my daughter <laughs> oh oh okay i'm sorry it's okay sorry for interrupting thanks You know, a couple of my friends, we organized this party. It's like an underground queer event. Underground? It's fancy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's invitation only, so you're going to have to bring these. I think you would really enjoy it. Both of you. Music, stand-up, poetry. Yeah. Nobody likes poetry read out loud. Harper. <laughs> hey, I read some poetry myself. Some people really enjoy it. Not for everybody. People hate poetry. They only go to these events so that they can find someone to have sex with. I'm so sorry. Jeez. Look, 
I'm having a very bad day, so yes. just forget what I said. Poetry's great. Yeah, I mean, even if you don't like poetry, you might still find someone to have sex with. So. <laughs> She's cute. Oh my god. She's probably younger than I am. Not for me, silly. For you. Stop it. <laughs> well, she's sensual. It's not my type. You've been single way too long. Mom, thanks. I will handle my own dating life. I'm just saying. And for the record, I don't date bisexuals. Excuse me. Harper, Sarah, and Neil. I didn't raise you like this. I don't know who you are. You are starting to act like, like a conservative old white guy, and it's scaring me. Where are you going? Dee is taking me shopping for swag. You can't buy swag. <laughs> Maybe you can't. <laughs> 